And welcome everyone on what is a perfect day for football here in South London. The venue is Selhurst Park. My name is Derek Ray and with me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. It's Crystal Palace and they take on Charlton Athletic. Yeah, thanks Derek. I'm just hoping we get a nice quick tempo from the start of this game. Both teams do like to get forward, both positive in their approach in the game. So we should be in for some entertainment. Number 10, Andres Townsend. Number 20, Christian Benteke. Well, this is the team Crystal Palace have picked. If you like wingers, you'll love this league. Yeah, absolutely. I love to watch a winger play, especially with pace and power. The central striker will stay more or less in front of the goal. The support will be provided by the three central midfield players. The back four is pretty conventional, but the fullbacks will be asked to support from behind. Is the lineup for the visitors today. We're thinking 4 3 3. Yeah, one central striker, Derek. The width comes from the wingers who will stay high and wide. Very narrow midfield and a conventional back four. Thank you, Selhurst Park. Enjoy the game. And they kick off here. Jairo Riedewald. Eberechi Ezi on the ball. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. Miyar. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw in. Dangerous looking attack. Must take the lead here. Oh, a tremendous block. Vital intervention. And he's fired over the corner. Well, he was closely marked, but the header well off target. Luka Milivojevic. Well, whenever you're trying to defend against Wilfred Zaha, you've quite simply got to be on your toes. Lee, what do you anticipate seeing from him today? Well, I love watching him. He's got quick feet, quick mind. He wants you to come close to you so he can get past you. So as defenders normally stand off him, and then he's got more time to pick the pass he wants, and he normally finds the best one. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Let's have another look at this. He wasn't expecting the ball, but when it comes to him, he chooses early to volley it. What a finish. Now the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Then. Goal for Crystal Palace, number 11, Wilfred Zaha. Stockley. Not a poor ball giving possession back to the opposition. Luka Milivojevic. Jairo Riedewald. And the emphasis is on creativity. Can he do from here? Oh, surely. And another one. Two quick goals. Will it turn out to be the two punch knockout? Well, here's the replay. That pullback cross is so hard to defend against. And still, with lots to do, he unleashes a very powerful effort. Gave the keeper little chance. Lovely goal that was. Well, 
a second goal for them here. Ben Watson. Beautiful pass. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Well, he's given a corner, they referee. And firing it into the area. Can he finish here? And still trying to get the shot off. It's opening up for them. And pulled back. Wonderful block. Oh, surely. Oh, good reflexes from the keeper. And the danger of Ozzy. And now the delivery. Well, possibilities in the centre. Can he get one back? Oh, no, is the answer. It was a guilt-edged opportunity. He couldn't avail himself of it. Well, it's a big chance wasted, no doubt about that. Nothing seems to be going right for them today. It is to be a throw-in. Ben Watson... On and on he goes. Could be. It's still alive. And a time for calm on the ball. Well, I'm still trying to work out what he did there to keep that ball out the net. Absolutely brilliant goalkeeping. Sounds in. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Can they take advantage? Tremendous. And a goal! They just can't subdue him. Well, here's the replay, and the ball over the top is an absolute beauty. And then the sheer power of the strike, really impressive. It's a thunderbolt. Blistering first half display, and just look at that score. That is that for the first half here. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Ben Watson. It's a good looking ball in behind. He just needs to keep a cool head. And it's there for him. His third goal of the match. And you cannot argue with that. Well, he's tearing this defence apart. They can't cope with him. Well, Derek, he can relax now. He's got the hat-trick. Fully deserved. Well done indeed. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. Number 11, Wilfred Zaha. Chuck Sanike. And a goal to delight the fans! Just what they were hoping for! 
Well, let's take a look at this replay. The difference between a good player and some of the best players is they don't need to take a touch. Gets his shot away, first time. Nothing else matters but concentrating on that ball. Well, not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Miyar not showing good vision an authoritative challenge half an hour remaining then Jairo Riedewald a real opening now Well, this is worth another look, Derek. Lovely movement and guile to easily evade the defender. And the pressure comes as he knew it would, but it's the strength that impresses me. It's a great goal in the end. Well, it has been one-sided, but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going. Miyar. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Well, here's the replay. It's a really lovely through ball. And sometimes, with all the time in the world, you can fluff your lines. But he composes himself and slips it past the keeper beautifully. So, 20 minutes to go. Cahill James MacArthur Palace, possession, pretty decent. You don't control the ball in midfield. It's very difficult to have enough of the ball to create chances for your strikers and really has been a dominant performance. Joel Ward. Kuyate. And this situation could be dangerous. Matthews. An attack full of promise. What a vital intervention. Being pressed hard. A running room in the wide position. The cross is on. 
crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Well, that could be his final rebuke, I think, and the referee's making that absolutely clear. Well, I like that, Derek. Good refereeing. Nice and strong, told the player exactly what he was thinking. And there goes the final whistle. Plenty of reasons for Palace fans to be cheerful. They get the win, Lee. Well, Derek, when you play with the attacking freestyle like this...